Roger, you are not coming. Come here. Roger. You are not coming. Today, we're going to buy a bale of Timothy hay for the rabbits. But first, we have to deal with a stowaway cat. Fred's in his carrier and ready to go. We pack treats, cucumber, and romaine lettuce for his lunch. On our way to Abbotsford, I will tell you about some of the best vegetables and herbs to feed your rabbit. It is very important that your rabbit gets a consistent, well-balanced diet. Many health problems in rabbits stem from poor diet. Too many treats, too many sugar, not enough pay. In particular, gas caused by certain foods can be deadly for rabbits as they do not have a way of eliminating it from their bodies and it can cause intense pain in your bunny. When introducing new foods to your rabbit, Monitor your rabbit's reaction closely. Always introduce new foods gradually, including pellets. Give your bunny as much Timothy hay as it wants and no more than one fourth cup of pellet food per day. Hay and fresh water should be accessible 24 hours a day. Feed your rabbit about 2 cups of fresh greens per day. Almost any vegetable you can find in your local grocery store is fine for rabbits. Beware of gas or soft pickle poops when introducing any new food. Always introduce new foods carefully, a little at a time. Do not feed any of the following foods to your rabbit. They can cause gas, contain dangerous compounds or toxins, or can cause constipation. Green beans, beets, fresh corn, potatoes, fresh peas, sweet potato, cassava, bamboo shoots, lima beans, bracken fern, coffee plants, maize, tea leaves, millet. Rhubarb leaves, raw lima, kidney or soybeans, onions, citrus peels, avocado, whole seeds, grains, dried corn, nuts, and dried peas. The list of good vegetables includes alpalpa sprouts, basil, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, cabbage leaves, celery leaves, cilantro, clover, clover sprouts, escarole, green peppers, mint, peppermint leaves, radicchio, 
radish tops, radish sprouts, raspberry leaves, Swiss chard. Use the following sparingly. Beet greens, broccoli, carrot tops, collard greens, dandelion greens and flowers, and dive, kale, mustard greens, parsley, pea pads, romaine lettuce, spinach, watercress. Fresh fruit can be given to your bunny as occasional treats only. Feed only small pieces of apple, cactus fruit, dried fruits, melon, mango, orange, no peels, papaya, peach, pear, no seeds, pineapple, plums, persimmon, and tomato. Blueberries, raspberries, grapes, and raisins should be limited to one or two daily. Strawberries, smaller size, and banana, loony size in diameter and width. Things to watch out for. Carrots and root vegetables are high in sugar and may cause sickle problems or gas in some rabbits. Gas can be a serious health problem. Celery and rhubarb stalks contain strings that should be removed before feeding. Alternatively, cut the stalks into small pieces. As you can see, we have now arrived at the farm in Abbotsford. It was a long drive, but it was worth it because the hay here is good quality and very cheap. We're going to buy one bale today and it will feed our five rabbits for about a month and a half. Inside the barn, you can see the bales of Timothy hay piled almost to the ceiling. The rabbits would love to play in here. With the hay in the trunk, we say farewell to the farm and start the drive back home. Here's Fred inspecting the new food. He gives it his seal of approval. If you are in the Philippines, you can feed your rabbit any of the following Filipino plants. Paragrass, Napier grass, Malungay, Red napier, banana leaves, kangkong leaves, madre de agua, mani mani, paragis. Mulberry leaves. If you know of any good rabbit food that we haven't mentioned, please comment below. Thanks, everybody!